Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through the concept of why we need data mining or what is the need of data mining. Okay, yes. So similarly, we will also go through the evolution of data mining. So basically, how data is stored previously and nowadays how it is being stored. So those things we'll be discussing in this lecture, guys. Okay, so let us start. So basically, what is the need of data mining? So what we are getting by using data mining, guys? So from a huge data, we are getting some important things, right? Okay, so if I give you 1 TB or 2 TB of data, can you extract the useful things guys? Yes, you can extract, but it will take some time, right? Yes, so indirectly the process that you will be doing is nothing but data mining guys. So as the growth of data is really high, to extract the important information or important patterns, we need the concept of data mining. Guys. So in that way, you can write for this question, guys. Okay. So as we know today, the growth of data is moving from terabytes to petabytes. Yes. So whenever the data is a huge data, they'll be calling it as big data, guys. Okay. Hence, storing that data and getting some useful information from that data is the process of data mining. Okay. Yes. So basically, even that processing that, that all things will take some time, right? Yes. So instead of saving all those unwanted things, so we will be filtering that and we will be doing the data mining concept to filter the data. Okay. So now let us go through the evolution of data mining. So we will be discussing from 1960s to 2000. Guys, I'll be just giving you the names guys because there is nothing much to learn in this evolution. Okay. Yes. So in initial 1960s, they used to do the database management system guys. They use, they need, they used to store the data in the database management systems. So how? we are even doing nowadays in the websites. So basically whenever you are storing in terms of websites, the data, the backend, everything will be stored in the terms of databases. But those are relational databases. Initially, it was only normal databases. Okay, like tables, inside tables, they used to store the data. That's it. Simple. So data collection, data creation, IMS and network based DBMS. Okay. So in 1970s, they started using the relational databases, guys, which we are using till nowadays. Nowadays, also, we are using those things. Okay. So relational databases. So relational databases, the difference is nothing but here the tables can maintain some relation. So previously, there is no relation. Each table is separate. Yes. Yes. So here there is some relation between them. Okay. So in 1980s, uh, they used RDBMS along with the advanced data models like object oriented and all those things came into play guys okay in the 1990s they started the concept of data mining guys. so they started using data mining to extract the useful information so they started storing the data in data warehouses okay similarly multimedia databases and web based okay and nowadays currently in 2000s we are using stream based management so basically even your youtube live streams or any kind of websites live streams everything will be running parallelly right so it will be sent to many users so all these things are managed nowadays guys okay so data mining is one of the most important things so even in web technologies we are using multiple storage mechanisms to use the things okay right so I hope everyone got some basic idea about the need and evolution of data mining. So in the next lecture, we'll be discussing about one of the most important topic of the whole subject, guys. If you ask me, there is a high chance that we might get an LIQ on this directly, right? Yes. So there is a chance I'm saying, okay? Yes. So in the next lecture, we'll be discussing about a KDD. That is nothing but a knowledge discovery from data. So in this, we'll be discussing how the data in the raw format, that is nothing but in the form of big, big data format, to the knowledge so how it is a transferring that we'll be discussing in the next lecture guys okay so let us meet in the next lecture thank you thanks for watching